This is Ashley Downing with the Rovig Festival Writer, sitting here with the band Fifth World. We are at the Abbey Pub for the Stranger Danger Festival. Welcome, guys. Yeah. I'm just ask you a few Thank questions. Uh, so, please tell me a little bit about the background of the band, how it was founded, where you're from. I know it's pretty diverse, I'm sure. So. <laughs> well, what, it started what? Three, four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Five years ago. Five years ago. Five years ago. Started off in the basement, and uh, our, our manager over here, Smooth, he was uh, one of the founding members. And, uh, <laughs> but he's also a daddy, and that's what he's uh, taking care of right now. Good. And he's still taking care of you guys, so that's good. He is, he is. He is. Is. So what would you say with traveling and everything, what keeps you focused and motivated out on the road and traveling all over? Well, money, Rich. women. No. <laughs> 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 it's it's more it's more it's motivated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy. You <laughs> don't want to feel the wrath of him. The things that drive you and motivate you, you know, know, carry through every day. You know, a lot of, I know everybody, like especially when we come through, long road trips and things, everybody's tired and things like that, but you gotta show the next night, you gotta do it, you know, and it's the music that really drives us. Like, and definitely, yeah. definitely all of us are very diverse in our music and eclectic in our musical tastes, so we really draw off of the masters from a lot of different genres. I myself, I'm definitely steeped in hip hop, but I take a lot of my um, influence from like masters of showmanship, like soul artists, uh, you know, James Brown, Michael Jackson, Prince, like all of them, like I definitely try to give the audience a show. We all really strive for that collectively. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing is that we're pretty much like a family. Like all of us, I mean, we just, there's this bond that we've all had, you know, musically and outside. Like we can hang out with each other, like on the weekend and barbecue. Yeah, and we're just some bands that just don't do that. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we just fight like a family. Yes, we do. We do. We do. But we fucking love each other. That's the thing. We could get mad at each other, but then all of a sudden, you know, we're chilling. Yeah. Yeah. We're definitely like a family, especially like an age. Yeah, yeah. yes, like got, exactly. Quite, we won't go like, there right now, but yeah. <laughs> some older people and some younger people in this band. But you know, the music is therapeutic too. Like Whatever disputes we, we have amongst each other right. usually just fizzle out once we all get down to the same. Yeah. For sure. So. That's a little smack the crap out of your chest. Yeah. Why would you say playing music makes you happy? I know you can go many ways with that question, but why does it keep you happy? It makes other people happy. Yeah. That's probably, you know, get down and dance and stuff. You know, it's when we're it's when we're not playing for anybody that we get like, you know, bummed out. But if there's people there grouping down, even if there's like three people there, as long if they're grouping down, like you know, get yeah. down and dance and then it's like totally. it's worth. I mean, music is definitely a creative process, I think, so, and all of us, you know, we love to create, and when you create, you're kind of like God, and so we just like to be God-like, you know, you get up on stage and create music, also, a lot of it is in, uh, improvisation. You know? Also, it's it's really cathartic too. Like um, lethargic. I said cathartic. Oh, lethargic. <laughs> so, um, he it, also likes dictionaries. Yeah. Well, I'm an MC. I gotta, <laughs> say, I gotta, I gotta floss the book. Like but, MC. but for real, it, it's like you say that what keeps us. Why does it make us happy? It's because you know life is constantly throwing all these things at you, and we happen to be really sensitive people in terms of being artists. So. Making music and going through this process is what allows us to process those emotions, be able to actually deal with day-to-day -day life. Yeah, but also, I, uh, I grew up anything? playing, I didn't grow up playing music, but, uh, like, I was always hearing music as a little kid, you know, my parents yeah. were playing salsa, you know, and then, like, starting out playing trombone and, like, going all through high school and college, and, um, every time I play music, I kind of get, like, this little nostalgic feeling, like, being a little kid hearing salsa music, and, and uh, like, my parents, like, cleaning around the house and me just, like, playing with my toys or whatever. <laughs> music is vibration. Vibration governs your reality, it governs consciousness and what we make in this hologram reality. And essentially, we're transforming that vibe, that vibration from this family of musicians That's what they to say the too. audience, and it comes back, and it's, it's a sharing process back and forth. It's, it's totally. really about love. Yeah. It is, yeah, it's totally community. So uh, there's so many of us. We gotta really stress the communal aspect of our band and all those layers meshed together. We gotta remember each other's names too. That stuff. What the hell was your name again? Just like, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Chris? No. So as a band, since you are evolving so much, what would the ultimate band dream be? Madison. The ultimate dream. Madison Square? <laughs> yeah. Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah. Royal, 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 Royal Albert would be good. Albert Hall. I'm going to say sustainability Cardinal. within the members. <laughs> yeah. That's the way that they can sustain well, their families. We well, can play music yeah. full time. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I don't know everybody I, in here right now would do it. Consistency. I, I can say, I can say from a personal perspective, I echo everyone's sentiments in terms of like the consistency, but I think everyone here is also very ambitious. The reason why we're a 10 piece band is because we needed this many people to even scratch the surface of the sounds we want to create. Mm -hmm. And if you take it on the evolutionary level, like we would love to have like a string section. We would love to have like all these other components that have yet to manifest. As and, hired hands. You know, like, <laughs> and, and bring them, and, 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 yeah, you know, like what, to the vibe of what we're trying to create. And definitely everyone everyone be on the same page. But, you know, I, I love I love 70s acts like Curtis Mayfield and Isaac Hayes. And, you know, they had, like, whole, like, Million orchestras. Right? <laughs> now, what, what I would like to see is for us to, you know, because we're kind of just like a Midwest band at the moment. And I would like us to see, you know, see us national and then even international and stuff like that and just get that recognition and bring our love and spread our love throughout you know the country and throughout the world and stuff like that because that would be that would be i i would say that's our goal at the moment right now you know we're trying to just get make that we gotta sew our funky oats exactly <laughs> so we have to there, out and about, everywhere right now. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. So, currently, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Are there any projects, albums, anything in particular that we you're working on? We do have an EP like coming out very okay. soon. Yes, we do. Be on the lookout. August. That's right. EP, Fifth World. Fifth World. That's right. That's right. Excellent. Also, we have some uh, definitely a lot of, of show dates coming up. Yeah. Festivals. Yeah, we'll we'll big ones. Shoe we Fest. Had, uh, yeah. Shoe Fest, Jamming on the Wolf. Putnam County Fair. Putnam County Fair. That's yeah, really nice. Which Check again, out our the website. Shoe Fest, the Jam on the Wolf, that's all the great Midwestern people coming yeah, together as well. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And the music's going to be great. So, I mean, where else can you go? Whitewater rafting, fly fishing, and then play music. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So what exactly, where's the best spot for us to find more information about you, find you on the internet? What's the best website? Facebook, or Facebook, Facebook page right now. Our Facebook, page. Facebook, page. Facebook. Our Facebook page right now. We have a website that is being developed. Under construction. It's under construction. So, so our Facebook page. 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 Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome set. Enjoy your summer. Take care. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.